Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We're here at the SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague in the Netherlands. I'm talking with Diego Lopez, Senior Technology Expert at Telefonica. Diego, as usual, thank you. As usual. Good to see you. It's good right. to see you. Again. We've known each other for a long time, so we can cut straight, no, no, no. straight to the chase. <laughs> Let's talk about cloud native. Why is it attracting so much attention now from CSPs such as Telefonica and what technologies can be seen as benefiting them and how? Well basically because the promise that uh, cloud native uh, deployments uh, bring is precisely the idea that they are much more elastic and this is one of the reasons, well the main reason why uh, we uh, we embrace originally the movement the movement towards virtualization is uh, this elasticity both potentially allow us to uh, uh, to take better advantage of the infrastructure, provide better services at, at a lower cost, and enhance automation, etc. So it's a it's a ideal situation. So uh, embracing the cloud native movements is the natural net next step in the virtualization uh, uh, journey. This is one. Th um, this is the main reason, and this is I, I think it's a uh, it's natural way. The same it has been in the in the cloud, in the pure cloud IT environment yeah uh, the technologies so far are the same that are uh, uh, gathering attention in, in, the, in the IT world basically componentization of whatever the uh, comp so, sorry containerization <laughs> containers uh, yes and the, the and the container management uh, infrastructures basically you know kubernetes is the most uh, popular right now yeah and the way in which you can implement the interconnection of these elements uh, maybe uh, uh, service meshes uh, and all the like that's uh, that's what we are starting to use. Okay, moving on, but still staying very much with the Televoting viewpoint and CSP. Um, let's look at the edge. What are the opportunities and the associated challenges for edge deployments and services? Well, the opportunities are clear. I mean, the uh, I would say the, the biggest edge in the world is those of uh, of the of the telecommunication networks. Indeed, it's uh, extremely is the uh, the uh, uh, infrastructure that is. I mean the. ICT infrastructure that is closer to users, closer to the endpoints, and is able to provide the uh, support for these uh, short, very short loop decisions, very low latency, very much focus on the uh, on the particular application. So, as an opportunity, is an ideal opportunity because no one else has this. I mean, in general, no one else uh, in, mm. in the sector has the same uh, kind of pervasiveness that the uh, telecommunications uh, networks have. Challenge is basically something that it was uh, summarized very well recently by, uh, by particular in the the uh, chair of the MEC group in Etsy is about this. The challenge is managing something like a cloud, managing a, uh, something like a cloud that is. The, the farthest possible from the, re, the current cloud deployments. Instead of having a highly centralized, extremely regular environment situated in one place, well connected to the rest of the world, what you have is that you have, man, you have to manage in the same style of that, a extremely heterogeneous, highly distributed environment that is very well connected among the different components, but it's not located in a single place. Right. So that's so you had to apply so principles, general principles that were defined in one environment in another environment that is completely different. So it's interesting. It is. Moving on a bit, where are we today? We've still got the Etsy NFV ISG. We've still got a repositioned OPNF project. We've got a brand new common <coughs> NFVI telco task force that's just been formed. Is this, do you think, indicative of a healthy NFV community progressing, getting better, doing more, or is it a sign that we're falling apart and falling behind? Well, personally, since I have been advocating against monocultures for a long, long time, I think it's a, it's a healthy sign. I mean, the point that, that uh, certain communities feel that particular, um, uh, their particular interests, mm. their particular priorities are not exactly being attended by other groups inside the same uh, uh, the same industry it's fine I mean they, they look for solutions that address uh, address uh, better their their needs and their, the urgency they feel for for particular aspects and I think that uh, all in all the important thing is that uh, there is I would say uh, 
a healthy competition in the sense that uh, we are, I mean, in many cases we're talking about, for sure we're talking, in many cases we're talking about the same organizations, same companies, even, even the same individuals. <laughs> in, <laughs> because yeah. we, are, we are not that many all over the world. But, uh, um, but on, um, so we are able to cooperate, to identify common, uh, uh, common understandings, to find uh, common ways of progressing with the work. But on the other hand, the fact that it's not, there is not a one and only uh, body connecting everything allows for people uh, feeling somehow motivated to be more active, etc. So I think, I think it's healthy and it's a sign of a, of a healthy uh, situation of the uh, whole uh, endeavor. Good, thank you. I'd like to finish talking again about Telefonica um, and what's happening with Cloud Native. What is your strategy? Where is it? Where is it going? Well, we are currently, uh, with, uh, we do know that we are working in, a, in, a, in an open source of orchestrator. We have been working uh, on it for, for the last year, past years. We are close to make it part of our production uh, orchestration environment. And this is cloud native. It has been evolved into a cloud native environment for the, the orchestration and control for a, uh, for, for a while. Now it's fully uh, based on containers and it's integrated, it's able to integrate with other uh, elements based on containers like uh, um, SDN controllers, etc. So the, let's say the, our control plane is, uh, well, is in the process of becoming completely uh, uh, cloud native and we are starting to experiment with ideas around the data playing, the monitoring uh, data, etc. So, and it will happen anytime soon because among other things cloud native uh, is precisely part of the evolution of our unique infrastructure that is currently more, uh, let's say, more based on VMs, etc. We are, there are plans to, be, to build the uh, unique uh, next generation. I, don't take it as the name of the. Uh, I, we, I call it next generation. Maybe it will have a much more uh, <laughs> this, uh, better uh, a better name in yeah, the future. Yeah. And of our effort in bridging in bringing bringing the unica concepts to the edge. That is as well. That will be that will be cloud native because it cannot be anything else in the uh, in the future. What we bring to the edge. Diego Lopez, very interesting stuff. Fascinating to catch up with somebody who's really at the sharp end of this. Thank you very much indeed. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Martin.